Welcome back guys to another Lego Avatar set review. Today we are reviewing set 75577 Lego Avatar Mako Submarine, which has 555 pieces and the price is currently $59.99. But I believe I got this on discount at Walmart, which is very common for the price of $42.99. So I got it for like $16, $17 cheaper, which is quite nice. The box right here is very appealing. You see you get four characters, Neatem. Aunung, RDA, Corch, and Spider. Great characters. Great visual of the box itself right here. Sorry for my graduation old stuff right here. It's been a couple of months and then Halloween nice stuff I just put up today back there. But to get into this set, we got the Avatar 2 box art right here. And this is actually the last Avatar set I have currently um, that I'm reviewing. The other ones I reviewed already and uploaded. And the rest of the Avatar sets I don't have. And hopefully eventually I get them all because I believe there's four more coming out um, in 2024. So just look at the instruction manual. They are the current new ones with the QR code here. And actually, you should save these because you get ten cents um, towards like Lego currency um, points wise. But um, yeah, it's like the newer version right here. And then when you go on the inside, pretty standard. Um, but I like how it has the progress bar on the bottom. And it does show a few pictures in here, I believe. Um, I wanted to see if I could find it, but I don't think I will be able to. It was it was showing like the actual pictures from the Avatar. Oh, right here, yeah, from the movie. So there's a couple of these slides, which is kind of cool to compare to what it, you have Lego version. So nice like, instruction manual. There was four bags, but only one manual, so you have to do it by yourself. Just look at the top, you can see your characters. And then on the back, it just shows the visuals you have of the set. And just like every Avatar set, there's such nice stands. I wish they would do this for like Star Wars and other um, themes, but the nice stand for the submarine, even a stand for your character and the, the mana ray and the little cave, the cool bows. It's just visually appealing and great for display with all the other Avatar sets I have. So like I said, you get four minifigures. The first one being Naitim. Um, Since he's a kid in the movie, he is, let's zoom this in. Since he's a kid in the movie, um, he is a standard height of a normal minifigure compared to, let's just show you, RDA Corch. And then most avatars, they are significantly taller with the higher legs. Um, so he's just like a normal minifigure, but a kid version for avatar. Only one with a uh, weapon here. Just built with three pieces. And then his nice tail, back printing, and then the hair piece that could connect to animals. Um, throughout the Lego universe. Um, very beautiful figure. He's going to be important. Uh, he was an important character. And I think they just do a great job with all these Avatar figures with new molds and every, everything. Next we have we have RDA Corch. Obviously in the Avatar form compared to the human form we had in the last one. Very nice figure. I like the army green pants on top of the blue. It's good two color contrast and then the good hair. And I think they do just a great job with all these figures. Whether that's the tail, the hair piece, that, like I said, connect to um, any of the animals you have. It's just so, they did such a good job right here. I think this is a pretty good value set. Next we have Spider. And oh, and all the figures I showed previously, the avatars, they can only have one face since the hair piece is pretty small. But Spider is a human, but he is actually wearing kid pants in human form. So he's even shorter than a normal figure. So he's just like a normal kid um, in the Lego world. You can see his mask, so you can breathe in the cool blue paint all over. And then he has, like, the... Oh, also, these black pieces do not come with the set. These are for my personal display. But, like, the new versions of the kid pants, they're mobile, unlike the early, the mid-2000s where you, you cannot move them. And since he has a, a longer hair piece, you can see his alternate face, which is a mask, but being more, like, um, angry or he's, like, working hard. I think this is a great figure. I don't really care for him too much in the movie, but um, figure-wise, this is an exceptional one. And the final one, um, it's very hard to pronounce, but it's one of the, not the original tribe, um, the water tribe, oh, Ayo Nung. Here we go. Very different shade of blue. And like I said, um, he is the same height as like a human, a normal minifigure, but a kid version for Avatar. Very nice shade of blue. Even It's just such nice detail, the tail and everything, the printing on it. And then his bow, I'm not going to shoot it, but you would just pinch or push. Right there, and it goes. Oh, I don't know why it's not reloading, but, um. Oh, there it is. Nice bow. Oh, it seems a little bit big, and once again, he can connect to any animal. 
um, that you could get from the water. Great figure right there. Um, if you wanted to display this figure, we're going to go into the first piece you could, you've could you built here. It's just a little coral, coral piece. Um, good for display. I believe um, all these white pieces in all Avatar are um, actually glow-in-the-dark. They're not too bad, are not too effective, but they do work. So, um, oops, there goes this hair piece, but, um, like I said, you should be able to easily have a stud on the back and you can just put him like this and you can make him like, act like he's jump, um, swimming because it's actually underwater, but this is a great way to hold main figures and obviously you can put them on any studs here. But that's a great, um, piece to get with it. This is great for displaying, especially since this could be targeted for older, um, children or just even adults you also get a, a manta ray all printed no stickers which is nice this set i believe had eight stickers maybe seven like i said these are glow in the dark right here and then you also have another um stand for a figure if you wanted to move something else around the color scheme on all these especially avatar two sets um are so good such a good color scheme you have a little cave right here you could enter in and then you can even put a mini figure sitting down or standing like they did on the box art which is another good thing for display. Um, pretty effective. I kind of don't like it. Um, just for the part, they're going to increase the price because they're making you build this with, I don't know, 100 pieces, which could increase it by like 10 bucks, especially with this. So this, this is probably $10 value-wise, which is nice, but um, if you took that out, it could save you some money. Okay, good. Going to the final part, I currently have it displayed on the stand, so this is how it would look. To take it off, you can see this black hinge piece right here. This is a very sturdy build. You just lift it up, and obviously the yellow will stick out, but um, not too bad. Once again, this this overvalues the set, but I think this one's very useful since it holds the submarine and it's meant for that. Other than that, I love the coral. This is you can see it's such a good color scheme. With everything, the blue bananas. Uh -huh. This is very nice, very nice um, piece right here, and easy to connect. Taking on to the final thing, the actual Mako submarine. You can see a sticker starting off right there, and then right there, and then same goes for the other side, sticker, sticker. Um, you can see the new versions of the stud shooters, one right here, one right here, just f or flick fire, whatever. Okay. You have the nice missiles right here, um, just for display wise, you cannot actually shoot them. On the bottom, you have, I guess you could call the stand or landing gear, so then it's, you can still st stand and like not really knock over, obviously, if you push it down, but um, it's stable enough to go like that. Um, the jets could actually move all over. It's currently supposed to make this, and they could actually spin slightly, but if you actually want to like, change the orientation of them, if you like flying up with the water or whatever, whatever your imagination desires, you can just move them a little bit, a little bit mobile. The color scheme is pretty nice. There's actually a, a generator in here. Is it possible? Yeah, there it is. I don't know if it's really meant to do that, but um, it spent a couple of pages explaining how to make this generator. So that's kind of cool. And then it just goes into there. Uh, not many, not much detail actually with this, but I actually think it's a lot bigger than I thought it would have been. So it helps me feel better. Any sessions I got a discount um, that the price isn't too bad. These both open up right here. There's actually one on the bottom right here. Um, it's more just to make it look better when it's closed because when this one opens, you don't really need to open that one. It just wouldn't make much sense. You can leave that one down. You have two more stickers right here. Um, for this cockpit, you're going to have to have the figure hold on to um, almost like they're laying down um, compared to the other one. So it was going to take who it's advertised on the box RDA Corch. Um, okay. And then you're just gonna have him, let's just angle that down a little bit. I put him in this orientation like this, so then you can slide him in. And I guess um, you actually don't have to hold him on to the hinge pieces. I think it would look better. Um, but you close it like such, um, like that. And then he's in there. And you can obviously f angle him better and then this one has more, just normal, just sit a figure down, close them up, and then that's how it's advertised on the box. It's a little strange since the submarine water could just flow in, how they didn't do a very good job of like having this so open and this open. 
But um, once it's on the stand and you're kind of looking at it like this, it looks pretty good. And I don't really know a much better way while keeping it in a good price range to do that. And then, like I said, I just want to take the stand. You can see the hole is right here. I'm just going to slide that in and you're going to wiggle it around when you're going to hear a click. So for $60, you get four figures, some builds. Um, would I say it's worth it for 60? I would say since this set got discounted so quickly, um, I would say don't pay $60 for it. Um, try to find it on a discount like I did for 43. I believe on Lego.com it's even 43. So if you get it for that price, I think it's definitely worth it. There's not too many avatar sets. So most likely if you're getting this one, you're probably going to get like all of them eventually. And this is a great set to get a spider figure, um, RDA Corch and, um, avatar form and then even negative i think this is a great set phenomenal very detailed and um thank you guys so much for watching please comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in a future video peace